Come in. Quite a display, my friend. It makes me proud to share a name. You made quick work of the maid's army. The lady herself, however, will prove more formidable. Take this. It's the key to the village bell house. That bell rings with the same tone as the flute, only louder. So loud it can be heard across these high mountains. The toll will break the enchantment on the maid's castle. Then you will have your chance. Make the most of it, my friend. It may be your last. And now I am free. I do hope we meet again. I would like you to have this. It's a talisman. I have no need of it where I am going. May your gods protect you.
Welcome to my home, beloved. I hope it suits your fancy, for you will never leave it. I loathe this rock. Its chilled corridors and dripping ceilings. Its whispering haunts of a past long dead. I no more wish to be the queen of this castle as I do to return to it again and again. I will escape its legacy. That is a promise. The fates of Kreth and Aermer are on your head, my love. Those good knights were victims of this decaying pattern. Sacrifices to the House of Ballads. As for the others, they will fulfill their roles shortly. Each has been saved, freed from their well-worn paths. They walk a new road now. My road. Wenson is here, along with his court of enchantments. The great halls and corridors echo with their voices, of the ancient stories told and forgotten. It is time to begin anew, for we write the final chapter of the House of Ballads. Only when the memory of ancient glories has faded, can new glory be forged. Everything you see, the castle and all that resides in it, could be yours. That includes my love. Consider it. And to the door, the echo of dusk, I, the king of ancient ballads, accept this house, and the falcon of Detir, annihilator of Elkmar, and on and on, languish in a sanctified seat. We will hear no more from broken sages, nor listen with... Sagril, you've come at last. It's time to cross swords with one worthy of your talents. You have caused the maid much grief, and that saddens me. Luckily, your death will provide her much pleasure. I've seen the world as it could be. A realm where I can be what I choose, go where I choose. 
The maid has enchanted me with her truth. I honor the Emerald Lady with every head I lay at her feet. Yours is next. like the terrestrial cane, a crutch that saps the dew of youth. And yet here was beauty manifested, a heart serene, sublime, a clamorous cascade, all in calumnious wonder. When night falls on the countryside, the noise of wanton opprobrious lechery, the stench of sullen gloom, and the false corpse of sordid history exhumed to please, compounded, and again interred into the womb of the past. Then am I lost. Without repudiation, malcontent, denial, or falsehood, at times beneath the veil of lusty happenstance, to prove there is no more of Balmain, my old love. At last you've come. 
The maid has made her sick fantasy a reality. Everything she was has been warped by the Prismere crystal she holds so dear. It is difficult to tell if she controls it, or if it controls her. We must escape this place. The telling has failed us, Sagaril. Nothing is certain. If we must. But I fear I have no role in this song now. We are far beyond what is familiar. The maid will be in the courtyard, where our ballad finds its end. Come, I will show you. Perhaps then I will find the courage that is required. They're around here somewhere. Look at this, Olaine. The maid's old keep still has vermin lurking in its shadows. Tell me, Sagril, is there a reason we shouldn't exterminate you? I was offered a new telling. One where I no longer bowed to the will of a man who is in every way my inferior. For the first time, I was given a choice. I know who I am. I am Belmaid, servant of the Queen of Spring. The maid of Windermere.
sacred vows of the rising sun. The eternal flood of love lies near, a streamlet of satisfied honey truth. But the flowered scent of a bedewled veil so wistfully endures the swollen heat. The courtyard is the maid's favorite part of the castle. It's where she can see the stars. We will find her there. She waits in the courtyard for the king of the House of Ballads. She waits for me. For us. It's not far. Sagar, wait! Go no farther! I can't do this. I can't. You must understand. Every time I have faced the Maid of Windermere, we've both dangled by the strings of fate, puppets in the telling. Now she is free of those bonds. I would not even know how to face her. Before, my victory was assured. I have never known failure. This story is yours now, my friend. Take the King's token. You are the only one left worthy of possessing it. It was you she wanted all along. I believe it. We meet in the flesh at last. It is a pity our relationship ends here. I was beginning to think we had a future, as creatures of common purpose. All you have witnessed was for me alone. It was justice. Imagine a lifetime of bondage one hundred times over, and you will know my suffering. You, though, you are special. You are one capable of comprehending such concerns. We too, we are misunderstood. So they say. But you and I both have seen the coming fire. A change the likes of which no fae, summer or winter, has ever seen. The telling will never cease. But the ballads that make up its grand design will wither and fade. And new ones will blossom on the vine. Perhaps. But you and I are the same. We challenge the past and strive to rewrite the future. We are singing the greatest song of all. The Tuatha have taught me that power only comes with the willingness to destroy, to begin anew and tell new stories. And in Prismere, they have found the means to do so. I weep for what might have been. You and I, side by side, wielding the power of the crystal. But there can only be one hero.
beg you. I seek only justice for what has been done to me all these many lifetimes. Don't I deserve as much? Don't we all? I have spent lifetimes being ignored. No longer. gift of love I give to this misguided maid of Windermere. She will not suffer as I suffered now. A swift and painless death I grant to her, and give her illusion as she to I. And balmy blood and breath from her pours forth, a hidden dagger wielded in my hand, a torture to see the ignorant soul. The white birds of winter slowly chased each other to the cold ground as the mourners wept their tears of the hero and the maid. You've done it! You've done it! You've returned! The telling is ours again. The hero returns. You have returned. Victorious. I know that you had a chance to change our telling. 
to break the maid and the house of ballads from their natural course. Yet you did not. You struck down the witch magware and restored our legacy for now. But there were casualties. The maid's death rendered Wenson impotent. This cannot stand. As a result, you have ascended to your rightful place. You are now king of the House of Ballads. It is a popular tale, featuring the summer court's most treasured rogue. One afternoon, Sagril, his head sleepy with wine and dreams of women, awoke to a terrible roar. The treacherous maid of Windermere, villain of the House of Ballads, was summoning forth a beast from beneath the earth. She wished to send it against Wenson himself. When the maid departed, Sagril tread into the beast's lure and killed it, only to realize that it was simply the first of many deadlier enemies. What a song! 